Hey everybody, this is Rick. I just wanted to do a quick update and share some results from a customer. His name is Jay Hayes and he's a positive and upbeat guy. And he has had, he started with some failures in his cleaning with a Macu Clean and he ended up with some really good successes. So I wanted to share, share both. So he writes, hi Rick, I wanted to show some success after my Captain America 105 debacle. Here is an Incredible Hulk 142. I just purchased it and it is uh, and it is very nice shape except for being filthy. I use my usual cleaning method for him, which is ab absorbing putty and sponge, uh, factice pen eraser, and a macu clean solution. Lastly, a 24-hour press. Amazing. And here's his results. He's got a dirty cover. And uh, I'll show at the end, before and after, on the same page. It's pretty dirty. You can see that the, the white especially is filthy. You can see a lot of that coming up. Well, maybe not all of it with an eraser and sponge, but yeah, some of it could. And the color's a little dull. And around, I'm looking at the indice, not the indice, the uh, pricing up here. And wow, that is a big difference, actually. And I'll take a moment here to show both before and after. Oh, wow, the back, yeah. Back super dirty. I'm looking along the spine here. And that probably wouldn't come up with an eraser. Some of that would. Uh, uh, this wouldn't, but that would probably. And let's see how it looks. Oh gosh, yeah, that's a lot better. I'm, I'm looking at these for the first time, by the way, folks. Uh, myself, I, know I tried not to look at them before, so I could be surprised with you. Wow, that looks a lot better. He did a great job. Actually, you can see his how he pressed too. It looks really good. The pressing's well done. And he has um, the top part of the back cover. Again, more of this kind of uh, storage wear. And let's see here. Yep, okay, and let's look here. Wow, yeah, that's great. So I'll give you a minute to look at a few before and afters, and I will show you. That's is a success story. This is a great success story, Rand, by the way. And let's look at his not so successful story. So let's see Jay's not so successful event with the same cleaner. And he writes, as you'll see between the before and after, there was a color grain flake loss. Greatest lessons are learned through failure. Better by someone else's failure. Best versus Jay. Good job. Hey, look at that. He's a positive guy. So let's look what's happening here. He's got uh, Captain America uh, here. I'm thinking he's looking at this red. Most likely red. Red's always the, the burden, the color of burden for me. Uh, and let's see here. Oh, this must be the. Here we go. Here's a before and after. It looks like it has, you know, color. It doesn't look bad, honestly. Uh, and it looks like there's some color loss here. And that does happen. You have to be very careful. And, and largely what you do is if you take a Q-tip, you can see some red coming off and f basically flaking is what happened in this case because uh, the, the ink is just so old and oxidized. Uh, you'll get a little bit come off before it shows up in the book at all. And then you just, you just stop and be very careful in the reds because you can see the red here in particular it is bad. And yeah, so he's showing a few examples of it. And yeah, I believe it. It's um, It happens and two books right side by side might happen and might not. So there's a, there you go. There's a good example of one success and uh, one failure for you. Uh, all, right. all right, take care. Bye.